Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Business Growth Show, where we talk about all components of business and how to utilize them for exponential growth. My name is Ethan Cassiotis. I'm a serial entrepreneur, international speaker, results strategist, business coach, mentor, and consultant. After over 14 years of being in business and running multiple companies, I felt called to start this show. I see many people struggling to start or grow a business, which is why I want to help entrepreneurs achieve success in business quicker, more effectively, and sustainably. Today, I have an awesome guest, JT Fox. Welcome, JT, and thank you for being on my show. Well, that's the best opening I've seen so far. I'm very impressed, right? So I wish every intro was like that. That's very sounded very good. I was very impressed. Lovely. Thanks, JT. Um, so you're a very successful entrepreneur, among many other things. So for those people who don't know who you are, quickly introduce yourself within a minute or so. Yeah, they call me the world's number one wealth and business coach, serial entrepreneur, best-selling author. I have a private equity. Uh, I also a property investor and best-selling author. So pretty much do it all. Um, a big believer in hedge and diversification. It's a big part of growth. So, and uh, when I asked to be on your show, you know, that's one thing a lot of small businesses or anyone's going to need is growth. Um, because without growth, uh, it's going to be very, very hard. So the economy may not grow, but businesses will grow. And now has never been a better time to grow, even though people are kind of acting scared. Yeah, definitely. I completely agree. And um, yeah, we've got to look for others to help us and, and you know, really push on for that. So um, I guess, firstly, I'd like to ask, like, what business components do you think are the most important and why? Well, I think, number one, people need to know how to sell, which most people don't. Number two, marketing. They need to learn how to generate their own leads and not rely on referrals. It's two of the biggest problems with small businesses. They can't convert their leads and they can't generate leads as well. And then they're not branded, so they leave in an ocean of sameness rather than a lake of distinction. They work in the business rather than on the business, so they really create themselves their own jobs. And that combines into why so many businesses don't succeed. Yeah, I completely agree. And, and sales is the biggest one for me as well. I think, you know, if you can't sell, you've got people out there that want your thing, then you don't have a business and, and everybody loses because you, you can't really make that impact that you want in this world. So uh, they're great points. And, um, you know, so what is your biggest challenge or failure, which once overcome led to huge business growth? To be honest with you, every mistake that you'll ask most people are people issues, right? Hired the wrong people, let the wrong person in your organization or in your life. And that's the problem. Machines have never let me down. Software has never let me down, but people have let me down. And part of it is pride, ego, greed. Uh, people think they're underappreciated when you appreciate them. Um, but a bad hire and more importantly, a bad business partnership, those can really hurt back. You know, everybody gets into a business partnership or even a, uh, an employee employee relationship as, oh, it's all gonna work out, right? Nobody look, doesn't look at if it doesn't work out, kind of like a marriage. And the problem is that with most people spending the majority of time at work, eventually things happen. And I believe that if the warning signs are there really early, it only gets worse. And I think we, we have this notion of, well, I need them, or if they leave, I'm gonna get screwed. And what you realize that the only person that's irreplaceable in your company is you but you're never gonna to grow to the next level unless you have other people who can do what you do so you can focus on the higher level stuff. Yeah, no, they're, they're really great points. And yeah, it's a sort of a bit of that balance where you wanna sort of have the control and not have potential issues later on, but at the same time, you know, have that great culture and values where, you know, people really wanna be on your journey with you and, you know, you really lift them up and, and, and train them and, and um, yeah, really um, create a difference in the world. So no, they're, they're really great points. Thanks, JT. Um, no so when you coach people and, and you do this, um, you know, all over the world at your house and everything, what do you find is the biggest thing holding people back from being successful in business? Fear, excuse, procrastination, listening to negative people, the environment they have in their house, not turning their weakness into their strengths, blaming everybody but themselves, failure to grow, invest in themselves, is that enough? <laughs> yeah fair enough um yeah there's a lot there and and um you know i think a lot of that comes down like you can have the best skills and everything like that that you learn but mindset is a big component of it as well because um you know you can teach the same thing to 50 people but you're going to get 50 different results 
And well, um, part of the people don't have coaches. I mean, that's why people need to call people like you so they get coached because no one can do it by themselves. I still have all my coaches. I still talk to them. And, uh, you know, coaches is what gives you the vision, the in line. And people are like, well, coaching costs money. Well, how many years and money are you spending wasting on things? Like, you can easily spend 10 grand on Facebook and just like that, it's gone. You don't make any money, right? But then you'll procrastinate paying $10,000 for a coach because a coach is a shortcut. So add whatever shortcut, that's what a coach does. Yeah, no, I completely agree. You know, I am where I am today. I've, I've, you know, I've spent over a hundred thousand dollars, whatever it is on, you know, personal development and, and coaching and, and mentoring and everything like that. And it, it's amazing. Oh well, yeah, I mean, you can't do it yourself. I mean, sports athletes don't do it themselves. You know, the uh, national uh, Australian uh, rugby team don't, uh, Michael Jordan then, Messi, Ronaldo, they all have coaches. And so we've, we've become a generation that we're, we're criticized by people who don't have coach, who don't have successful. I mean, why is it many people are worried about what their negative family and friends are saying about their product, their business? Like Oprah starts a business, a, a new product. Wow, that's great. You know, the Kardashians have a new product. Oh, that's amazing. Um, you know, an Olympic athlete is, you know, starts some business. Oh, wow, that's so inspiring. You start a business. Oh, it's never going to work. It's a scam. You know what I mean? So think about that. So you're, anyone in your life are idolizing the celebrities rather than encouraging you. And, and, and that's the, the entrepreneur journey. It's a very lonely one. But remember, there's a lot of room at the top. It's the bottom that's crowded. I completely agree. And a lot of people like to be safe. And, you know, when I started my journey, um, you know, you sort of get to the point where you have to, you know, you either t technically drift automatically away from people that are not on the same path, or you have to actually, you know, cut certain people out that are not supporting you or, or, or being negative and things. And once I did that, I, you know, I saw massive shifts in, you know, in success and, and how I impact other people and, and things like that going forward. And, you know, I, I like to say that, you know, you want to get advice from people or, or help or coaching and that from people that have achieved what you've achieved. You know, so many people out there get advice and say, oh, do you think I should, you know, let's just say buy this property. And they just ask their, their parents or someone that you know, has one property or, not or, their, or their broker, <laughs> yeah. which to be honest with you, I mean, the person who has less money than them or achieved less deals than them. So, you know, we all need heroes, models and coaches. And, and I think that's such an important part, but, you know, but also too, I mean, part of an Australia of tall poppy syndrome and, and other places like that, that being successful is bad. And I realized that it's hard to change people's minds. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Yeah, no, I completely agree. And I'm, uh, I'm not focusing we, on- We should get a t-shirt. I completely agree. I like that. You keep saying that. <laughs> I completely like, agree. I'll be like, you know, aliens are coming to invade us and they're the ones who spread the coronavirus. I completely <laughs> agree with that. I completely agree with that. You know, I mean, it's so positive. You know, I think everyone should just stay at home and get a government check. I completely agree with that. I think no one should get a check. I completely agree with that. I like that. This is the best interview ever. You completely agree on everything. That's the name of the show. I completely agree with you. Well, you are the world's number one wealth and business coach, JT. So you that is know, true. That is true. Very well. Good comeback. Good comeback. Exactly. Like I, you know, I, I completely agree with you. <laughs> I love it. See, now you've got a new line. Look at that. I, I'm giving you. It's something. yours. I, I'm giving you full. You rebrand the show. I completely agree with you. <laughs> or do I? Or do I? That's right. Well, it. Or do I? It really depends on what they say. So that actually talking, be a good name of a of a good show. I completely agree with you. But do I? If I do I? That's it. Keep the, uh, it's actually a good branding. I like it. I love it. Um, so what industry or profession do you think has the biggest opportunities for business growth? I mean, I think every opportunity there is. I mean, it's just, the, the, is it, so, do you have a business that's sustainable, predictable, and consistent? Um, you know, obviously property investing is going to be very big now. Um, there's always going to be room for coaching products and services. I mean, right now there's a purge of people who are not doing very well will go away. Those who are established or those who start now is going to be a huge opportunity as well. I never look at it, what's got the biggest opportunity of growth. It's the people that matter, right? People is what makes companies great up to a certain level. Then as you get bigger, it's about your people and the organization and the culture. But you're only as good as yourself and the people you have. So I, I don't really look at it. I can make any business work as I've made millions in so many different industries, right? Over 50 companies and brands. But, you know, I mean, it's just, it, it's all the same. You need to love, you don't need to love what you do. You need to love business. And that's a big misconception. People say, I need to love what I do. 
because if you're doing the work of what you love, then you've created yourself your own job. Yeah, that's, that's great. And, uh, you know, I think that's the same with me. Once you understand- I, I bet you you were in that completely agree with you. <laughs> it was I bet close. You so were I was trying to mix it up a little you bit. Were, you were thinking about it. You I were was. thinking about it. I could tell you try to change it up. We know, say it, own it. <laughs> I completely agree, or do I? No, we'll, we'll leave that for the, uh, the title later. And uh, yeah, like it's, you know, it's all about results, as you said. And, you know, the business components, the fundamentals and all that, it's all the same. Once you understand it, you can apply it. The question is, is what's the strategy? Is the strategy correct? You know, that's the real key part because some people think, oh yeah, I'm just going to make all this money in a business when realistically that's not the case. And, you know, I've seen a lot with you when you do your, your life coaching and, and everything like that, where you can really flip it, you know, a strategy so quickly within, you know, seconds or minutes. It's amazing and um, really put people on the right path. And that, that's a skill that's, you know, not many people have. And, and I'm, you know, working towards that and helping people in those different ways of doing things differently and what's actually working in the market. So yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, every, it changes every day, especially now and, and, it's uncharted territory. So people don't care how long you've been in business, what you've done. They care about what you did yesterday, today, and what you're going to do tomorrow. So relevancy has now become more important than experience. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so uh, what is your biggest strength and weakness? I, I think the weakness, I think now I'm actually maybe too empathetic that like there was a time when I was way more ruthless and now I'm just more empathetic, which is crazy. Like I have this deal. I'm about to do and the person it's like a million dollar deal i he's putting five hundred thousand i'm putting five hundred thousand he goes let's charge three points twelve percent interest right we got a lot of equity in the property and i'm like uh i don't know like i didn't really talk about that he's like where's the jt fox like i don't know i'm not just becoming really too soft and the biggest strength is pretty much everything marketing branding sales uh networking dealing with successful people because i've always turned my time management i've always turned my weakness into my strength and then once I master it, I move on to the next thing, and next thing, and next thing, and next thing. So um, I don't have too many weaknesses in business because whatever is a weakness, I'm working on. So yeah, that's awesome, and I, I'm doing the same thing. And you know, one of my I completely agree with you. I'm I doing completely agree with you. <laughs> one of my main weaknesses is time management as well, and I've been you know looking at your time management course, and um, you know that's really helping me to you know, get to the next level and, and what I need. Well, you look sharp today. You all are shaved and everything. You came prepared for the game. That's it. And, uh, hey, I always you know, deliver. I'm wearing my t-shirt, so, <laughs> which normally I wear a suit and tie, but, you know, That's we're all friends. I always deliver. I'm there to win, you know, whether it's sport, whether it's business, you know, I turn up and, and make it happen. That's me, JT. So. Yeah, and that's the name of the game, right? Yeah, show up. You got to be in the zone. And that's you got to right. be prepared, right? Preparation plus practice plus visualization equals success. You always got to be ready for a game. This is a game. Money's how you keep score, right? When you have no money, at first it is about the money, but then it becomes about that switch that you're like, hmm, you know, let's make it to the next level. Definitely. So final question. Um, what advice would you give people who want to exponentially grow their business? Well, number one, get a coach, someone like you. So I could say it's a good idea, not a good idea. Have a plan, have a blueprint, execute every three to four months, reevaluate the business model. Number two, speed of implementation from the moment they come up with an idea to the moment they implement it. Be a fast implementer. Don't be the procrastinator next time later, right? Uh, also, two, infiltrate circles of influence. Um, you know, don't rely on referrals. Keep building relationships, right? Every no you get just means you're one no closer to a yes. And then make the right decision. And that's where bouncing off the coach. One bad decision can set back. That's why people need to call you. That's why the people need to talk to you. Yeah, no, that, that's I great. Completely agree with that. I completely agree with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's awesome, JT. Uh, all of those, um, you know, once people understand that there's so many areas there that you need to work on and understand about business, and when you, when you put them all together, it's just like a foundation for success, basically. And um, it's really amazing when um, you know you see the results in yourself, and then you know, depending if you are like us, you know, business coaches and mentors and that or, or other people where you can see the results in others and it's really great to I think we're all here to, to help others and to, to move forward um, and, and really create you know the legacy that we want in this life um, so I, I know completely, you're I, completely, I completely agree with you <laughs> uh, that's great Jackie. or do you yeah uh, that's true that one or do I <laughs> I don't know tune in next week <laughs> that's it well, maybe we can create a spin-off show of that. And then we can, you know, I know you've got the powerful podcast where you sort of debate a lot of things. And this one's sort of like a little bit different. It's like we agree or do we? And then, you know, um, make it a bit interesting there. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, 
it, it's a bit of a laugh, but I think, you know, everyone's going to have their own little spin on things and, and the way we do it and, you know, and people resonate, you know, once we, uh, we put ourselves out there in that way, we attract people that way. So um, I know you're a very busy man, JT. So I thank you very much for your time today, JT. And Thanks for being on your show. I completely agree with you. It's fantastic. Or do I? <laughs> Next week, will I agree with you or do I? We have an interesting guest. You'll either agree with him or you don't, but we'll still give you the facts to grow your business. Hi, my name is Ethan. Live from Australia. See you next week. <laughs> I love it, JT. Thanks for that exit. Well, let, let's see if mine's a yeah. little bit better or not. We, we, we can we can discuss. I'm sure you prepared yours. Go ahead. Let's see. So I'm sure many people have gr greatly benefited from your valuable wisdom. So thank you everyone for watching and listening to this show as well. Where we talk about everything on business growth. You can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram as Ethan Cassiotis, or visit my website ethancassiotis.com. Until next time, remember that our business grows when we learn skills and take action using them in spite of fear. Have a great day. And I completely agree with that. <laughs> Love it. Thanks, JT. Chat soon. Well done.